Hello everyone. In this lecture, we are going to see ASME, Section 2, Part A. Reading Specification, for SA 516, SA 516 M, Part 1. We have, all these courses available, on our Thinkific platform. To learn, more about these courses, register with the link given, in the description. Now let us, uh, you know, uh, open SA 516 grade 70. So if you open SA 516, you will see this specification for pressure vessel plates, carbon steel for moderate and lower temperature service. That is the name. So lots of information is hidden in just the description. What is the first information which we are getting? It is the product form. If I purchase SA 516, I'll get the, it in plate form, not in pipe or not in rod or forging. It will be in plate form. Okay. Uh, what will be the general material name? Like whether it is carbon steel, low alloy steel, high alloy steel, that also you'll see. Pressure vessel plates, carbon steel. Okay, that is the second information which you are getting. Then third is, what is the application? You know, whether we want to use it for lower, very lower temperature like cryogenic or low temperature like uh, minus 45, 50, 60 or low to moderate. Low to moderate is generally minus 45 to 380, 400. Okay. So that is the range between we should use this SA516 material. Okay, so these are the three information just hidden in the description. See how many information, how much we are just by reading the description we are getting. You also see that, uh, you know, M which is written here, SA516M, that is for metric. So you'll get customary and metric, both the information in this specification. Okay. Now let us dive deep into uh, SA516 material specification. So like I said, metric and imperial, both the units will be covered here. So first it talks about scope of uses. If you see clause one of ASME, you will find scope of uses that where we are going to use it. What is the purpose? You know, so you'll come to know that it is for pressure vessel plates and it will be used for lower and moderate temperature. Then it will give the next information about order for ordering. What are the information you should include? Okay, that is covered in clause three. Steel making process. We'll come to that. We'll discuss in little detail. Uh, but we'll just see what are the different you know parts which are covered. So clause three will cover ordering information. Clause four will cover steel making practice. Five will cover heat treatment process and six will about chemical composition and seven about tensile. So these are the different clauses which are there in SA 516. Okay. Now, if we just dive deep in that, if we dive deep in just scope part, so scope, what it gives that it is a carbon steel plate, you know, which you should use for welded pressure vessels. Okay, these are the terms which are used exactly in code. Why we are using SA 516? There are other carbon steel materials also available, you know, in plate form like SA 36, SA 283. But why for pressure vessels we prefer SA 516 is that it has very good notch toughness. Okay, and that is related to what? Anybody can write why uh, we need how that improved notch toughness helps us in which case anybody will like to share yes jagdish you are exactly right so better impact properties if we have good uh, notch toughness we'll have better impact property so that is this information is covered in scope in scope, there is uh, further like it has been divided into four grades. Okay. What is the tensile properties? That is also briefly given. And why it is given? Because there is a limitation on thicknesses also, you know, based on grade, 
I cannot find 300 mm thick plate for grade 70 because it is not produced. Maximum thickness which I can have for 516 grade 70 is 205 mm. Only up to 205 mm I can have a SA516 grade 70 plate. Okay. So that is one takeaway we can, uh, you know, you can remember that beyond 205, you won't get that grade 70 plate. Okay. So this is the information to remember. Now about ordering information, it refers a different specification, which is SA20. So SA20 is called the general specification, you know, each material, if you go, it will be referring to some general specification specification what this general specification will cover it will cover more detail or uh, like a variation in thickness tolerance width length tolerance those kind of thing testing requirement like if i have to take a tensile testing where that coupon should be taken how many are required all those information is covered in sa20 okay what is the you know how to repair the defects if there are some defects in the plate all those information are covered in SA20 is a very big specification you'll see lots of pages are there in SA20 okay and it not only to SA516 it covers but it covers also for SA203 plate material 204 387 for all these materials uh, the general requirement is given by SA20. Okay. Now coming to the materials and steel making practice. So what it says that clause 4, what it says that carbon steel SA516 is a killed steel. When we say killed, it is free oxygen. Oxygen is removed. The free oxygen which is there, which can oxidize your uh, material that is removed so that is the reason because oxygen is a representative of life so because life is getting removed so it's called killed okay second requirement is it has to be a fine austenitic grain size now what is fine austenitic grain size if your grain size is more than five you know uh, it's uh, you know how it is measured is that uh, in a particular volume how many grains are there so if I have more grains in a particular volume, my grain size is fine. If I have less grain, my grain size will be coarse. Okay. So SA516 is a fine grain material. You know? Now, see, it's a very uh, important point which I want to bring to you guys. So SA516, when we talk 516 is a fine grain or standard size and that is the reason it is used for low and moderate temperature okay because fine grain material uh, are actually good for what for notch toughness and impact properties okay so you know if you have coarse grain then what will happen See, fine grain size is having one problem. And that is the limiting stage. You no, know? that is that is why that 516 grade 70, if we say, or you know, grade 60 also, it is limited up to 375. We can go beyond that, but then we'll have to do creep analysis. Creeps comes into picture when we go beyond 370 degrees Celsius. And what is the property which is limiting? is that fine grain if you have coarse grain it will perform better for high temperature so 515 which is a coarse grain material that will perform better than 516 for higher temperature but for lower temperature 516 will perform better because higher grain size means better notch toughness and better impact property Okay, hope you guys are getting it. So fine grain size, good for low temperature. Coarse grain, grain size, it's good for high temperature, for creep zone. 
Okay, and that is the reason for you know different uses of five one five and five one six. Stay tuned with us for the second part of this video.